Okay, here's the file that I'm going to show you how to start a 3D detail. This is a house with a deck at the back, and I want to do a detail of the deck connection at the house. Right now I'm in a default 3D view. So I'm just going to select a couple of objects uh, near where I want this detail to be. That's good enough. Then I'm going to go up to Selection Box, or BX. And all that does for me is put a section box around the area I want. I'm going to adjust the size of that a bit. I'll put it at a detail level of fine, and I'll put it on shaded. You'll notice that the text is kind of big on the level markers, which is controlled by the view scale. So I'm going to change it to a half inch equals a foot which is similar to 1 to 25 in metric. You could change that if you want a different one. I'm going to um, pull down here because I don't need to see the roof. Um, and I'm going to be doing it as if there's um, a cut right through this wall where the windows are. There's a window in the basement and a window above and the deck. If I take the section box and pull it in, this is where I would do the detail. And so I'm going to save this default 3D view as my detail view. So I'm just going to right click on that and rename it. And I'll call it my detail. If I need the default 3D view back, I just go up to the little house at the top. It comes back. So I'll just go to my detail now. And now I'll decide what I'm going to do here. So I don't need to show that much. So I'm just going to make the detail a little bit smaller. Because it doesn't need to have quite that much in it. There. I don't even need the window up there, really. Okay. So now you start, you're ready to do your detailing. Um, what this model has is um, just the top surface of the deck. It's got eye joists, it has a, um, uh, what's it called? Deck ledger, and then it has siding and all that other stuff. And then it's got a two by six wall with sheathing and siding and gypsum board on the inside. Inside here I have a floor um, assembly that I created with the subfloor and a space for the joists. Now that I've drawn the joists, I don't need the space. So I'm just going to go into that part of my assembly and get rid of that so that I just have the subfloor. Now you can see the joists. You can see the rim board right there. And now you're going to start to add the details that you need. These things are gigantic. I'd probably change it again. But anyway, we'll leave it for that. So now for the part on how do you actually add to this portion of your drawing. You, If I wanted to put the double top plate here in the wall, I need to model it, kind of like form it or sketch up. So for that, I go to Component, Model in Place. I use Generic Models. I'm going to name it 2x6 because that's what my top plates will be made out of. I'll let it know that I'm going to use the extrusion for this. Everything is kind of gray, so now I can model. Um, you don't know where you're drawing in the world, so I'm going to set the work plane. Pick a plane, and I'm just going to pick the side of the joist so it's just in the vertical orientation. Now I can um, draw the size of um, 2 by 6, which at the moment isn't quite right. So it should be 5.5 inches by 1.5 inches, which it's not showing me. Point five. There we go. 
Okay, so that's back there on the joist. That's okay. Over in the top right of my properties, you'll see the extrusion is four feet long. Maybe I only need about two feet for now. And then I can green check mark to finish that. I'm going to let go of it. And you can see it's got a weird hatch pattern. In the materials, it's got wood shakes. It just happens to be what I had last. So I'm going to go into the materials and give it some uh, um, softwood lumber is actually what we call dimensional wood. There it is. Kind of a beigey color. There. So there's um, a chunk. And because I haven't quite finished that in-place model yet, um, it's sticking out, which is fine. It's not going to. But you'll notice I just have it floating. So I'm going to go to the left side of my 3D view. And because I'm still in this creation mode, I can go to move and move it into location. So that's where it should be. Now I can finish, and it gets chopped off just by my section box. It's fine, we'll fix that in a bit. Uh, I'm going to go back to my left view and copy it for a double top plate. Oops, didn't snap very well. Okay. And what I need to do is actually fix this brown part of the wall. It looks like um, wood, and I want it to look like insulation. So I'm going to pick it. I'm going to go into the type for that one and change the softwood lumber to bat insulation. So I'm just going to look for insulation. And it's down here. Fiberglass. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it pink, pink insulation. And I want it to have some transparency so we can see through it a bit. There we go. So now you can see the double top plates. This is um, 2 by 10s They're the lintel for this window. So I should put another 2 by 6 there. So I'm trying to get this detail looking correct. And so what you should be able to figure out now is drawing the stuff that you need. Just got to move that down. Um, is pretty easy. It looks just like um, format or SketchUp. Kind of dark, so I could switch the visual style to consistent colors. And you don't have any shadows. Um, you could render it. You can go over here to orthographic and switch it to perspective. Might make it look a bit weird. Who knows? Whatever you like. And then go ahead and model all the extra bits. So you could draw bolts and uh, washers and whatever else you need to make your detail. And hopefully that has done it all. Thanks.